Welcome to my backlog, where I use a random number generator and my Steam controller to play through my backlog. Okay, so this is Zero K, which is a open source total annihilation game. You can get it on Steam for free. Um, it's an RTS, obviously. So let's play the tutorial. Any minute now. So you might be thinking, huh, RTS with a Steam controller? And I'm saying, yeah, I, that's actually a good point, but real easy to actually do. And once the overlay works, I'll load the thing up. What's the place to begin? I guess there's no overlay. Yo, this is the tutorial, man. <clears throat> Why is there no overlay? Let me go ahead and fix that in a bit. Okay, well the game doesn't really like the overlay, so I'm just gonna show you what the controls actually are for me. Uh, this is the menu set. There's a scroll wheel here, a button pad, and whatever, left mouse, escape. These are just to navigate through the menu. Uh, in game is where all the fun things happen. So you have the selecting of buildings and uh, the mouse regions to uh, move around the screen. You have the arrows, you have the scrolls which are on uh, a D pad with a turbo set to on. Okay. <coughs> no gyro because it's using a mouse region, of course. Um, I have three layers, two of which are apparently not used right now. I'll add them whenever. They are bound to holding onto Y and the A for unit management and building management. Unit management is just like uh, a rated menu with all the numbers in there and the control button somewhere to assign things on. Here they are. Assign numbers, left control on the right trigger, and add to group with left shift. I don't know if that's in this game. This setting is for a different total annihilation clone called planetary annihilation, but yeah, it works. I hope. And mostly this game can be played with the mouse, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Building management, item builders, if this game has it. A uh, bunch of other commands. Idle things, mouse region. This mouse region is smaller, I think. It's located in the lower left area, because that's where the build commands are, basically. So, let's go ahead and close that. And here is the game again. Let's play the tutorial in earnest now. Switch to the in game set. It's just the start button. Press space to begin. I don't think it actually matters what you button you press. It's your I'll press space. I don't even know if I have space bound. Okay, zoom in here. Select my glaze. Destroy. Try jinking to dodge their rockets, whatever that means. Right click and do this. Yeah, the attack move is here, which is good because it means I can do this. Select your knives and glaives to destroy the nearby defense and rescue the commander. Select commander and build the mine extractor. The metal. Build it, um, 
Surprise. Click the area max command. Left click on the middle spot. There we go. Alright, I guess I should put it here early. Oh, wait, it's already there. Good, I have a metal extractor. I have some powerhouses. So my input is good. Also, full capacity, so I don't know what the point of this building is. Solar collector, I mean, I already have enough power of it. Let's go ahead and place it then. It is done. Let's go build a factory. The Cloakbot factory. Oh, it wants me to build it here. Or I guess it doesn't really matter because it wants me to build a solar panel here and it didn't do that. Oh, I can scrap that. Never mind. That was fast, what the fuck? Build them all! Oh, never mind. <laughs> Let's just repeat them. Shift left click to Q5 units. Right click on the ground to set a rally point. So go repeat. Yep, I got all the things. Select your manner, uh huh? Right click. Oh, yeah, it'll. Oh, it's just with billing. I thought I had set one. Oh god. Holy shit. Uh, allies. This is issues in assist command. This is the most effective way to increase production. Build your armor, you store an enemy base in the short enemy command. Got it. Oh, I see. There are drones that help me build. What's the point of this rally point if it's, no one is using it? What the hell? Come here, boy. I'm gonna kick your ass. That's the commander. I well, probably should wait for that. And now we go back, because now I have a nice big standing army. Right click to deselect. Got it. There are buttons for our idle constructors. It's Z and or Control V. That's okay. It's it's right there. I can just yeah, that's fine. We hold the Y button and it just goes here as well. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see if I can scoot this knight with me. Because <laughs> apparently that's a thing that happens. <laughs> uh, nope, okay, that's fine.
That's probably enough. All right. Well, everyone dies. That's what happens with the commanders. They don't just die. They explode. <laughs> the basics. This is not the basics. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess there's just like a mission based structure. And uh, I guess I'll do that. I'm pretty sure this is not all there is to it. I'm convinced there's flying units as well. Maybe naval units and tanks and maybe a way to construct knights. The planet Imjaleth. I can do this. Metal extractors and the reavers. Okay, so really nothing special. I got a tower though. And I read a tower. I have one. I don't. Neat. That's some of these though. I'm gonna make some uh, builders. It was good for our first uh, initial. Oh. Hello, someone's coming up. How do I know this? Eat shit. Come on. No? I right, fuck it, I'll just make a metal extractor here. And another here. And some solar power. Yes. Hmm. Is this done? It doesn't look done, but I guess it's just what it looks like. It's just cloaked or something? Oh, whatever. It, as long as it produces output, I guess. Most loyal opposition. That's, that's the name of the unit? Really? Yeah, I guess so. Is that like the enemy commander? Or... Time for some defenses, I guess. Man, that's sad. That's the only thing I can build, huh? Alright. Z cycles through them and control B selects them all. Yep. But it's metal. I mean, does it? Interesting. 
interesting. I don't even have to select a build it. Hmm. That's a good quality of life. Okay, well, these guys aren't doing anything right now. This kind of games is always like the best offense is a good defense. You just move the turrets up ahead. Hey, look, targets. Alright. And now I'm going to shit out an army. Just do whatever. As long as the metal production is stable enough for it, I don't actually know if it will be. It's like these are a lot of things. Uh, let's go ahead and force a bit more metal then. So every one of these are going to consume a bit more of this metal stuff. You don't really look at the stockpile you have, you look at your inflow and output. Mm -hmm. I also need some power. They knew what they were doing. I thought they built things there. I guess I just cleared it out. Rock. I need my panel. The actual stockpile doesn't really matter. Maybe once I get some some storages. Oh, well. That's just not nice, you know? Yeah. 
Hey guys, there's, there's some shit up here. Let's go find out what that's about, huh? I think is probably enough for some of it. Right, the overlay doesn't work, so the radio menu doesn't work either. Yeah, I'll figure something out. I'm gonna destroy whatever the fuck this is. Motherfucker. Ass. They'll do it. Okay, you can build a bunch of these. these guys That's cool, but how about some more power planes, though? Yeah, that works.
More power, damn it. Oh, yeah, I have bonus objectives too. Build a radar tower. Oh, yeah, might as well do that, I guess. Special radar tower. Build three rivers, build ten glaives. Defense, this one. Hmm. Okay, the power supply is stable ish. Like that, huh? Chicken shit. Oh, look, it's the enemy commander here to uh, pay a visit. Is this enough? That's probably not enough. I'm just gonna build some river now. Alright. Well, that was the end of the glaives and the end of the enemy commander. So that saves a lot of time. Play rough, huh? Yep. No, you don't. What we can also do is just make a designated builder and let everyone else assist. That works just fine. Special radar right here. <laughs> My metal is over capacity, which is good. But I need like sixty of them. Dying of fire. It's a thug. It's being attacked right now. Man, this poor guy. Bye. Oh, 
Alright, I got everything here. I'll just go ahead and assist everyone now. Um, man, this guy's not fast, huh? Alright. We got a pretty decent semi army. I might as well check out what I have. Not all of seven of them. Eight. I mean, it says it right here, you know. It's big and it's. Die! The commander is dead. Have fun, chuckle fuck. You, go help. <laughs> so, I have 500 metal, and in a few seconds I'll have no metal. I also have like a fucked in a reverse, so that's okay. Destroy the enemy commander and call up my factory and protect my own. Hmm, this is actually going as slow, fast as I thought it would. It's still going though. Minus 60, but only for like a split second. There we go. Yay, edit bonus objectives. Oh, you can unlocks for that? You can unlocks for bonus objectives. Alright, so this is a pretty good, f fun single player game. I suggest you play it. It's free. You don't really have much of a reason not to, and then maybe time. And maybe the fact that the overlay doesn't work. I'll just have to tweak some bindings. To... You don't need a radio menu. Um, if you're fine with just like four groups. You can use another layer to get eight. Maybe some other things to get the full ten. But yeah, just uh just have some fun. I guess. Maybe uh go play online. A lot of people playing it too. I think. 